My name is Aisha Kasim, and I live in Rochester, Minnesota, since 1994. My elderly mom who that time lived in uh, her own apartment. It became difficult for her to live alone. Sometimes she becomes dehydrated and her blood pressure was not controlled or uh, uh, blood sugar. So uh, we offered her to leave to move to either us, like my house or my brother who also lives here. And she is the kind of person who likes to be, you know, privacy. She likes to be alone, independent. So she refused both of that, you know, offers and she wanted to be her own apartment. But then I decided I ha we have to do something. And that's my idea to have a place where people could come and live uh, with dignity, have their own room, bathroom and food and medication so uh, that's how we uh, you know uh, they build on my assessment of you know what is best for either my mother or other mothers or fathers who need this kind of services we help people with uh, assistance with bathing clothing grooming walking transferring uh, we also do set up their appointments if they want to go to, to the hospital. If they need escort, we do that as well. We manage or set up their medications. There is a nurse who comes here uh, and set up medications. Uh, we have trained uh, PCAs who can, you know, uh, provide the medication, pass out the medications. Uh, we communicate to the doctors to make sure that, you know, if somebody has a new medication, then to communicate with the doctor uh, if the, we see, you know, a uh, reaction or uh, things like that. We also build that, you know, relation with us and the, and, 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 uh, the doctor. Sometimes people, when they come in here, uh, for instance, and uh, get discharged from hospital, they don't contain or remember all the information that were given at the time of discharging. So we are, we try to, you know, uh, collect all this information and follow up one by one, remind them the, the uh, appointments, new medications, order the new medications, make the refills, make the food available for them, you know, uh, if they make sure that they get enough liquid in their body, enough food. Just, you know, uh, we are the, uh, we try to be in the middle, just help the person to heal, you know, peacefully and do the other job they need to uh, help with. my culture, you know, uh, and my experience make me to be more sensitive to human. What we, what I went through, uh, the war, so the life is, and human is so important, and family is so important to me. I've lost many friends, many relatives, you know, my father, and then I appreciate the life itself. And culture-wise, we are all close to, to each other. We are not like extended family. We use extended family back in home. So important, you know, grandma, mother, aunt, uh, great aunt, all are important to my appraising. So I'm still here. I have that. I brought that with me. And just apply. And I am one of the blessed people who get the chance to at least, you know, uh, pay back to, the, to their parents, you know.
I know a lot of people like me here are taking care of their mothers. So and I'm glad, I'm glad to be the one who's taking care of my mother, uh, mother. And I love to take care of other moms too. It's my, it's my passion. I love to take care of elderly people and children. And I think this is a job you can only take care of, do a person who have big heart and close to people, humanity. And that's why I like my job. I love to take care of my mother, same as the other mothers and fathers around me. So I'm just uh, uh, giving back to human what I get cared for my life. So it's my passion.